In Dylan Opper's fifth grade class at Pinecrest Elementary School, he's focused on the long-term objective of preparing students to graduate high school through digital literacy in math instruction. By integrating technology, he is reducing barriers and crushing inequities created by the digital divide, improving futures and outcomes for his students. So the tenths is one place over to the right of the decimal point, so we were looking to box to six, but I'm glad if you were gonna make any mistake, you chose tens because it is so close, okay? Uh, if he was rounding to the tens place, would he be correct? Yeah, and, that, and actually he made it a little bit harder for himself because he boxed a number that was a nine and the eight told him to add one more. My uh, best practice is using technology and more specifically iPads in the classroom. Uh, I'm a math teacher. Um, most of the day. So I try to uh, make my math lessons more fun, more engaging. I try to collect data um, right at the moment. And I try to have my students express themselves in new ways. It's creating um, an environment where students are working together. And it's really that collaborative environment where I can remove myself from the situation and allow my students to teach each other and have conversations. And it's funny to think that uh, students are having conversations about math and actually arguing and debating about math problems. And that part is, is really cool to see. We record ourselves sometimes and sometimes we do this video where there are two teachers, the, they do an equation, and they have to solve it. We have to guess which mm -hmm. one is right or wrong. And then if we think that that person is correct, we have to we have to tell and explain why are they correct. Ever since being introduced to the iPads in Mr. Opper's class, my son's grades have just gone up. He is thriving in math. When David first started um, in Mr. Opper's class, he was more kept to himself, wasn't really confident in his responses. Now, he's just like overjoyed to share and he's just, Mr. Opper has really boosted his self-esteem. By developing strategies to use digital tools as part of the learning experience, Dylan has enabled students to solve problems on their own using multiple approaches, which builds their confidence. By using technology as a research, processing, calculation, social interaction, and presentation tool, he's inspiring students to think deeply and find solutions to complex problems. He has taught a lot of students. My kids always talk about Mr. Opper. Sandra, Emma, and Junior too. That's all they talk about. This shows he's a great teacher. Personally, I am the mother of one of his students and this opportunity is giving me a chance to get to know him and learn more about what work he is doing here. I see that it is great work. He is a great math teacher. He makes it easy. It's, he makes it fun. It is important we say thank you to teachers like Mr. Hopper because they help us learn more stuff so then when we grow up we have all the information we need. I come into class and it's like you set the reset button and everything is fresh and you have students come in and you can see them get that aha moment where they're learning something new. They understood something today that they didn't understand yesterday and I tell myself every single day I have the best job in the world. I love what I do and every day is different, which is very exciting. This innovative teacher is using digital tools to encourage students to work together and express their learning in unique ways. We know, I think in our heads, that we are making a difference and we are impacting students. But when you actually have a student come back and tell you, hey, it's eight years ago and I still remember you. And that to me said, I will be a teacher until the day that I die and I will enjoy every single day of it.